Simon Says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video tutorial, let us see how to split a page in Word. Microsoft Word is a great tool for reading. The layout and the tools it provides make reading lengthy paragraphs easy. One of the most used forms of formatting a document in Word is split page formatting. Splitting a page will help you emphasize different parts of the text in a single pane and lessens the need for additional papers when printing. Additionally, this gives you an overall aesthetic look which makes your page more presentable. There are multiple ways to split a page in Word. Let us see them one after the other. One method to split the page in Word is by using the layout option. To split a page, navigate to layout option in the main menu. In the Page Setup section, click on the drop-down in Columns. Select the number of ways you want to split the page into. This splits the page into two columns equally. You can also split the page into three or four columns depending on your choice. From the Columns drop-down in the Layout menu, select the number of ways you want to split the page. In case you want additional customizations while splitting the page, click on the More Columns option from the drop-down. You can change the page break or section break from the layout menu under the breaks drop down. Using tables is another way to split pages in Word. By using a table, you can split the text into two or four ways depending on your choice. First, insert a table using the insert main menu. From the table drop down, select the number of columns you want to add. Since we want to split the page into two columns, select one row and two columns. Using the Extend button in the bottom right, you can extend the table to the desired length. You can move the table to your desired position by dragging the Move button in the top right of the table. If you want additional settings to the table, right-click on the Select Table Properties. You can adjust the height, width, border, and alignment of the cell and table of your choice. Now, type the content in the individual cells. Though the contents are filled in the cells, it still doesn't look like the page split. We need to remove the table, leaving the contents intact. To remove the table, navigate to Table Design. Select all the text. Under the drop-down from Border, select No Border. This removes the border and makes the page split into two. In the same way, you can split the page into any number of partitions depending on your choice. There might be some instances where you only need to export the Word document with split pages and keep the original document intact. In such cases, you can split a page and import the Word document as a PDF without altering the original file. Navigate to the File menu and click on Print. This opens the Print pane towards the right. In the last drop-down, select two pages per sheet and click on Print. This opens up a dialog box asking you to save the document. Choose the file location, enter a file name, and click Save. Now you can open the file in the saved location and see the page split into two. In case you want to add additional settings and customizations to the split pages in the PDF file, click on the Page Setup setting in the Print pane to personalize the page to your liking. That is all, everyone. In this video, we saw how to split a page in Word. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.